obviously we're at Lowe's right now. I came to pick up an order and just wanted to kind of, you know, sh compare these two, um, compare these toolboxes here. You know, of course we got our standby, a good old standalone cobalt box that usually, usually runs, you know, pretty good sale at the end of the holiday season. And then you got the, the craftsman here. Now I just wanted to kind of compare these two boxes here value wise and you know sort of what you get and you know it's really really hard to recommend the craftsman boxes uh, you know those of you out there love them you know you have your own reasons why you love them you know they're in a stat for the older folks or the seasoned individuals it brings about a sense of nostalgia in the good old days and that smell that classic craftsman smell you get on those craftsman screwdrivers but i felt compelled to make this video because for simple fact the cobalt boxes are just leagues ahead value wise and, and what you get and just so you hear me out all right, new, well, new for this year, it looks like they've got a, I don't recommend this box at all. The, the finish on it is, is just weird. It's like a powder coat, but uh, I don't really like it. Um, it leaves too many sharp edges. They really kind of missed the mark with this finish. Um, you know, it's not any paint on it. Um, it, it the, it's just as durable, you know, wise. It just doesn't feel quite as heavy. It doesn't feel as well made, even though I'm sure it probably is. Um, let me see. Yeah, here's another one. Just, maybe that one was just kind of rough. Yeah, that one, I don't know. I, I don't really like the, this. This is probably a little bit more chip resistant. Um, probably won't look as dirty as quick but it just feels cheap it doesn't feel solid it doesn't i don't know maybe it's just the paint finish that it feels it makes it feel a little bit more solid on the blue um it's nice you got a little breakaway key here it keeps it from sticking out so much but back to back to what i was talking about with these um cobalt boxes it, you get it just feels solid there's no real like scratches scratch places this right here is solid i mean it's you can get your whole hand around it get a nice grip on it this here it feels chintzy it doesn't feel as nice in your hand as this this you get a nice sturdy something with a lot of girth on it and then you got here it sounds like a door knocker whereas this it just I don't know something just, it doesn't feel this just feels more you can feel the weight in your hand you can just feel it it feels a little bit better made all right now let's look at the price this is 649 for the the cobalt now you do get it's a 1200 pound capacity. You get a three year warranty. You do have the built in receptacle and power supply, and you get the drawer liners are included. And you get five inch, uh, five by two inch casters. This is going to be the combo. You get 42 inches wide, uh, long, 18 inches deep. You got 13 drawers in total. Now, some of these drawers here, you should be able to fit a lot of your you know socket sets and whatnot now all of your drawer liners are going to be in one pack so you have to like put the drawer liners in each box but at least they're they're all there you get a couple different uh, size drawers you get some bigger ones you get some skinnier ones some ones are a little more shallow but at least they all come with drawer liners um everything is polished there's no snags there's no cuts there's nothing that you can accidentally scratch yourself on 
which is nice. All right, let's look at the Craftsman. This is also, it was the 41 inch wide, but we'll call it 42 just to not split hairs. You also got a power strip up here at top. Um, also, well, in addition with the cobalt, you've got a way to plug it in here, or you can plug, you know, you can snake another power strip on the other side if you want. This one looks like you only got the one power strip, uh, the one power strip access or plug, if you will. Um, you know, this is a nice feature, I will say, that you can unlock and lock your drawers with this knob here. It may or may not be a real benefit, but it is a feature that the cobalt does not have. You just have to use keys with the cobalt. Um, and uh, that's the only way you can lock it without having to use a key. This, you don't have to use a key. You can just lock it as you're when you're moving it and you can unlock it to access your drawers. But it's also 18 inches wide, but it's not a true 18 inches for the top box like the Cobalt has with their top box. You see here, um, and I had tape, I think that man that was in that gray shirt snagged it. Okay, well you're just gonna have to trust me on this. Um, this is not a true 18 inches. The top box is not, the top box here is and which makes it uh which makes it kind of nice uh so you have a nice uniform looking cabinet as opposed to something that's you know not quite this more tall than it is it doesn't look like it's this looks more balanced this looks does not look more balanced but the bottom is 18 inches for sure and you do get these nice little pads um the only, but in addition to that, the, the main selling point for me and the main differential maker is that this is not sold as a combo. This is $359 for the bottom, $339 for the top. This is $649 or $650 for the whole shebang. This total costs $150 more than the Cobalt. Now, you do get... Uh, this is 1500 pound weight capacity for the total box versus the 1200 pound weight capacity for the total box for the cobalt. Now it could be, you know, I don't know why I would not, I would put 1500 pounds in here before I put 1500 pounds in here, judging by the build quality. I mean, if you look here, they put a plastic cap up here. Um, I don't really know why they didn't just make it, I mean, I guess to keep it from chipping, but it looks like to me, maybe they had some complaints about the the sharp edges up here and decided to put, instead of fixing it, they just put a, a cheap plastic cap up there. Kind of makes it feel and seem a little bit chintzy if you ask me why they would, why they would put a cap up here and not caps on the end down here is beyond me. These can catch you for sure. Whereas the cobalt did the extra step and they capped this to where you're not catching stuff on it. And they also rolled this perfectly and, and painted it to where it's nice and not and non snagging. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess the only reason that you can hold this total total holds more weight is because of the the extra drawers that you get that's the only thing I can, I can think of um, and I don't know why they would put it on here as like a total unit but then not sell it as a combo uh, maybe that maybe there is a combo price uh, I'm just not seeing it um, they don't have it on here anywhere and they're not advertising it anywhere else as a combo unit um they have everything individually like the individual price up here the one thing i do like is that you do have the bigger drawers you know for your circular i don't know that you can put a worm drive saw in here maybe but really good for your side winders you got some drawers for your bigger items as well so they both have their pros and cons it depends on what you're looking for i think overall the cobalt box is a better value 
it seems to be better built to me in my opinion um let's see the top you get four drawers here you get six the bottom here you get one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten at the bottom versus one two three four five six seven eight so you're getting more drawers in the craftsman and that's probably what they're coming up with their extra weight capacity they're going off maybe the 100 pounds per drawer load and i'm guessing the cobalt probably has 100 pounds per drawer as well um i'd probably bet my bottom dollar on it but looks wise you can close this bad boy we'll close this bad boy um, the cobalt is a little bit shorter than the craftsman not by much and that may mean something to you if you plan on using the hutch area for storage you know you might can stand up some things up here instead of laying them down and, and have a little bit more room this one's got a couple of dents in it up here already get the manager knock some knock some dollars off for you but anyway 649 i think this is probably a better way to go unless you specifically need the use for the craftsman space or the drawers maybe you know like for sure in a mechanic shop you've got a lot of specialty tools you know a lot of drawers maybe for you know you're working on maybe for some reason somebody's got still got drums brake drums and you got a cabinet for your tools to work with the springs and everything in the drum or you know what have you there's a litany of reasons you might want a a box with more drawers that are some smaller drawers versus having a cobalt box with a lot of bigger drawers um you know that maybe you don't you can't have as many different types of storage drawers as you might would like that you have on the craftsman for instance if that makes any sense and then of course they got the bigger 52 inch cabinet as well um this seems more sturdy for the simple fact that it's the size <laughs> Um, and you got a lot of, well, I can't, oh, can't seem to, there we go. Like I said, these, this box seems to be a little bit better made, I guess maybe for the increased, uh, you know, weight and size of the box. But still, you see it, it's just like swaying. I mean, I'm barely touching that. And I got the wheel locked, by the way. And you can see a lot of, this is gonna, this is problematic here. Let me zoom in for this. Look at the wheel. It's just. There's really not any there is a thin piece of metal that runs across, but I think that's just for bracing. But I don't think it really goes into anything. It's just moving right there. It's just waving in the breeze. I'm, like I said, I'm not putting a whole lot of weight on this. I'm just with my finger, just touching it. It does roll pretty well though. But, you know, if you're in and out, in and out, you know, this box is gonna move a little bit and that, if you're moving it and you happen to hit something maybe you're on the garage floor and you hit you know a little bump you know and you got some weight is on in this thing is that something is that a point of concern and to be fair let's lock the cobalt wheel now this I'm just not moving at all. Let's go back to the, this smaller craftsman box. All right. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Look. Let me zoom in. I'm just touching it on my finger. this way
It's a little bit concerning. The simple fact that the cobalt, there's no, virtually no sway at all. I mean, I'm smacking it. And there's no real movement at all. For simple, I mean, the cobalt is $150 less. You get the same amount of weight per, per drawer. The only reason that the total weight capacity of this cabinet is less than the Craftsman is for the simple fact that this one has um, three or four more drawers. To me, the Cobalt is a no-brainer. $150 less. You get a lot more of a sturdy box. Everything feels more solid, better put together. You know, it, it just feels, I don't know, it just feels, way, there's no reason this should cost $150 more. There's just no way. But anyway, that's enough for my soap box. Oh, here we go. Here it is right here. So $7.98. So this, I guess in a way, it is the combo. They're not really giving you any discount buying it together because this this is what it costs when you purchase them separately individually so you get home with this one inside you want to come back and get this one you're not saving any money buying them together and 928 for the bigger box now, i don't think craftsmen they don't think they have any if they do have any they're not in this area i'm not going to go hunt for them i don't know if cobalt sells any of the bigger like 50 inch boxes 50 plus inch boxes like they do the craftsmen i don't know to me it, i say in this one too look Look at it. Look at it. It's like an earthquake in here. This just makes no sense. Why this box costs that much more than the cobalt box. I mean, this one's moving some, but it's not warping like the other box did. I don't know, that's enough of this. All right, I gotta get out of here. Just wanna take a look at some of these. I'm not seeing any of the other colors. I really like to have seen a stainless Kuwap box over here. But again, they might have some down there, but I'm not going down there right now, I gotta go. But I don't really recommend this box. It it it, it says, seems to be as solid as the blue one, but it just, I just don't know if I like this. Uh, there's no paint on it. It's very thinly powder coated and there's a lot of sharp edges. Um, I don't think it did quite as well with the black box. It's a te real nice textured finish. I'm just not, not feeling it. Definitely like the painted box is better. This definitely feels on par with my Husky box. And this feels like I think probably the Yukon from Harbor Freight is probably a better built cabinet than this. And with that, I'm out of here. What's up, Frosty?